Hello, thanks for joining. Hello, thanks for joining me for a couple of reviews, live reviews. Yes, got a few lined up. Um, starting with this. Um, got a thing tomorrow lunchtime UK time. I think seven thirty Eastern time with PA Bruno's, and then on from that, good beer live nine nine PM UK time on Friday, and then probably an after chat after I put it down. But if it happens or not, I'm not sure. But yeah, but certainly the Good Beer Live Show. Anyway, let's crack on with the two beers on screen. And this two beers from Cloudwater, as you know. This one's got, um, it's really damn hot. And I fancy a late night drink. So this is Brenda, Brenda, Peach Goes Was Brewing. It's coming in at 4.3% ABV. Um, designed as an ideal summer quencher, this twist on a German goes includes a subtle addition of peach to create a, a bright and beer that balances soft fruit flavours with clean sourness. Sea salt helps to insinuate the sweetness of the peach, while the light dry hop of using southern hemisphere hops provide further bright citrus and stone fruit flavours. So, there you go. 4.3%. This was canned on the 25th of June 2019, best before 25th of December 2019. So it's not going to last that long for sure with this weather at the moment. So let's just crack on with this one then. I purchased this can at over in Margate at the Night Swift. So we go, beer in a glass. Quite a bit of fizz on the pour. There we go. Finger, white head. Um, yeah, hazy. It's, it's like a hazy goes. Hazy goes? Hazy goes? Who knows? Um, yeah, kind of hazy, orange. Pretty, pretty cloudy, as you can see. Get up to the camera and all that jazz. Probably out of focus actually because it's not prepared, unprofessional. But yeah, nice looking beer, fluffy white head. It's getting a roll then. Yeah, getting a little bit of that kind of sea salt. There's like a, a wild, almost like a wild flower. It reminds me of because we've got chalk cliffs around here. Um, the, the flower Alexander. You generally, get it around cliff tops, edges. It's got that kind of vibe. A bit of stone fruit in there. Touch of peach. It's not massive. It's more actually smelling like the actual style. This, this, that kind of. So yeah, smells nice. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh yeah. Before I there we go. Is that gonna work? There you go. That did work. I've got to do that. There you go. That's what I'm drinking from Cloudwater, of course, which you already know. Just in the banner. Yeah, very subtle. Got on with the actual flavour, which is nice. Um, there's definitely more peach, more stone fruits, a bit, little bit more kind of citrusy notes on the taste than there is in the aroma. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, that that. Uh, lovely kind of saltiness is pulling through really well really nice and then this sort of weather that's definitely something you want so i'm just testing out this stream while i'm doing these reviews as well just to see how it comes out so let me put that on silent and see it's saying there's no one watching which is almost certainly that's right because why would you um 
and let's have a look. And yes, I'm right. There's nobody watching. Boom. That is so crushable. So crushable. Um, it doesn't elaborate on, on much anymore. It's um, They used to do all, all the malt build, all the hops, and everything else, but they, they seem to have swerved away from that. Um, and I don't know how long. I mean, I had a couple of collab water beers the other night, collaboration beers, and um, noticed it then. And this is uh, it's on their cans now. It's saying vegan friendly and all that. Whatever that is, uh, hops fade fast. Artwork by Textbook Studio, which I'll show in a second. Let me just pull the rest of this in the can. So, as you can see, to any new viewers, that's what I'm drinking on screen. This Fandango. So that's another show. Uh, this uh, kind of new setup. It's really damn cool. You can have banners and all sorts to show you what. You I don't know if you'll see me or not. Um, probably are now. Let me just have a look. Is that working? Yes. My internet's not very good, obviously, because it can't handle it. Anyway, as I was saying, this is uh, Brenda, Brenda, Peach Goes was brewing in my mind, as you can see on the screen. There's the can. I'm glad it's a bit out of focus. It will be there, but it's no good there, is it? Uh, what is all this about? Anyway, you get the idea. There we go. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, as I say, it's a summer crusher, 4.3%. I've already gone through the dates, but I'll do it again. 25th of June, this was canned. That's before 25th of December, Christmas Day. Why would you wait that long in this stifling heat at the moment? But, yeah, nice-looking beer in a glass. Hmm, decent. So, um, in terms of a rating then, you're getting more of that kind of stone fruit, kind of peachy, a little bit of kind of citrus. You're getting more on the, on the taste than you are on the actual aroma. Um, which you, you find sometimes that happens, you get you can, you can reverse that, and sometimes you get that on, a, on the aroma and not in the taste, which I'd rather have in the taste, but of course we would. We want both. I want that great big damn aroma and a great big damn flavour. That's why I want greedy. Anyway, um, that's that one. So, and this one is a double dry hot IPA, and it is I have become the boat. Nice kind of vivid can. Um, IPA seven percent. Then on this one, let me just see if there's any comments. No, perfect. So there you go. That's what we're on now. Canned on the 4th of June 2019, best before 24th of August of 2019. So yeah, I needed to get it down, as they say. So a 440ml can. Um, it's got hot wise, it's showcase of CY18 Citra and Mosaic hops were used, selected from a source in the Yakima Valley. These two modern favourites have become staples in craft beer. This is this crop is presented uh, particularly bright, impactful fruit flavours, supported by punchy resinous notes. A full-bodied, smooth, double dry hopped IPA provides a perfect platform for them to shine. So we'll, we'll see about that at this time of night. It didn't go everywhere, so that's good. Glass is all the way over there. As per. So there we go. Not doing the label out nonsense. It's a beer. 
like a fashion parade. So, there we go, it's pouring out a nice kind of murky colour. Let's try and generate a little bit of hair. A bit quicker, come on. There we go. Enough room for my big fat nose to get in there. So, yeah, didn't pour much of a head. It wasn't a particularly aggressive head, but it has actually gone away quite quick. I purchased this oh, mid June. I've had this a good four weeks in the fridge. So, yeah, that, that head's completely gone. As you can see, lovely kind of murky, almost like um, chicken soup kind of colour. I mean, it's looking quite pale on, on screen, but um, it's actually not that as pale as that, but it's definitely as murky as that. Anyway, let's get an aroma then on this thing. Wow. It, you can almost, as I've said like so many times in in random reviews, that you can almost smell the kind of mouthfeel. It's got a nice kind of almost like creaminess body to it. Light kind of pineapple, citrus, little bit of grapefruit. Nice kind of sweetness there though, but yeah, real kind of juicy orange. I'm just going to go straight in and I'm not doing a cuvee. Cheers. Wow, it is smooth as well. It should be. I mean, it, it was. I mean, I had some good things about this beer when it was like a few days old. People drinking it like, oh, it's amazing, or like a week old. Oh, it's fantastic beer. Um, there's some beers I'd like to just let them set, calm down. They've been travelling around in my rucksack, bloody blah. Um, I purchased this in the. Um, Kill the Cat in Brick Lane in London. I purchased this. I think it was, I mean, it's probably about £2 more than what it actually should have been, but I saw it and I thought, oh, they're great things. I don't buy kind of the hype stuff very often, so I like, took it home with me. Paid for it, of course, but but yeah. Nice little bottle shop there. But yeah, back to this. Lovely. It's just so easy drinking. You're not picking up that kind of 7% ABV, you know, for the beer. Body wise, is yeah, the upper end of medium. Um, you, it, the body though, you are getting a, a little bit more of a kind of a bigger malt build. Of, I'm pretty sure of that. So, that'd be the only inkling. So, it's a, a slightly bigger ABV beer that we get anyway over in the UK. But yeah, this is cracking. Um, I, I again, you don't if you see this at the bar, you have like a third or two thirds, and then you move on to something else. Um, I would buy it again if I saw this on tap or whatever, I'd be like, yeah, let's get some of that. Not too over the top. There's enough flavour in there to keep you interested. It's nice. There's a slight kind of perfumey aroma with it. Wildflowers. Yeah. Yeah, like a flowery, flowery garden or orchard or something. A little bit of sweetness. Don't know the ABV, ABV, the IBUs to this beer. Um, gluten, wheat, barley oats as well. And this, these guys are obviously out of Manchester, as you will probably know, over here in the UK. Um, not much else to say. It says uh, juicy passion fruit tangerine and strawberry resinous hop. Hop notes. Strawberry. Not getting that. Um, full body, full and smooth with low carbonation. Yeah, very low carbonation. Uh, juicy finish with lingering resinous flakes. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a full body personally, but that's just me. We've got some comments. Sorry, I put it on the wrong thing. God, it's hot. Hello, Ashley. So, got Ashley in there saying hello. How are you doing, mate? And we've got this. Bursting weight, cheers, and then we have why is beer lager turn it into alco pops? <sighs> That's not a lager, so on that one, this is uh, a New England 
assume it's a New England. I guess it's a New England IPA. Um, the new craze. Um, let's have a look. It doesn't actually say I've got the untapped. I should get the untapped thing up, really, but I'm not going to. I'm not prepared. Right, let's find out what it says on untapped then. I didn't even bother. I have become the bulk. Mm -hmm. Right, you come. All right, see what it says. Yeah, New England IPA. So it's not a lager. It's not alco pops. It's um, it still tastes like a beer. Um, I think you get that sometimes. The these things are like, oh, is it really a beer, or is it just full of kind of fruit and it's just any kind of not getting any kind of bitterness or anything? And I, I do like a bit of bitterness. It's got a little bit in there. Um, had a, had a beer recently. It was kind of like a cross between a New England and a West Coast. It's really damn good. I do like that bit of bitterness just to let you know you're still drinking a beer. But yeah, this is pretty decent, to be fair. Um, in terms of a rating then for me on this one, I'm going to give this a... I, didn't think, I don't think I'd give a rating on the first one, so we'll, 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 we'll go back to that one in a sec. For this one then, for the... For the, I've become a boat. Um, um, an eight and a half out of ten, I'd say. Um, I think it's a pretty damn good beer. Um, so a four point two five on untapped scale for me. Let me have a swig of water and I'll go back to the other one. Anyone else drinking tonight? I've got one more coming, so I have to keep swapping over. Are there any adjuncts in this beer? Um, I didn't, let me just, uh, God, it's warm, I'm sweating like anything, adjuncts, adjuncts, let's have a look, um, there it just says, um, it's a showcase of CY18 Citra and Mosaic, uh, from the Yakima Valley, um, so, that's it, doesn't really say that any kind of other kind of added, like, fruits or anything like that no it's um oh, i've got the burps now yay right what's the other one <sighs> drinking a craft pilsner while i barbecue some pork chops nice it's um well, as you know it's what is it almost it's almost 1 a.m here and it's i've got the window open and it's it could be the warmest night on record in the uk tonight and they reckon it could be the warmest day ever tomorrow. Um, it could be at like 100 degrees, potentially, which is... I don't mind it, as long as it doesn't last too long, kind of thing. So, um, but yeah. Um, David is having Yeasty Boys. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a white stout, I think, um, I believe. Um, I had it once, yeah, the, white, the actual white can, yeah, I remember. Um, pretty good. I can't remember. Is it brewed with um, ah? Remember, like a sieve. You know, it's like when you go live. It's like oh, I can't remember nothing now. Um, what's my name? Um, pronounce the, the thing that's banned in America. Um, I'm just trying to think. Um, yeah, hitting thirty over there. Yeah, that's just yeah. It, it hit thirty-three degrees on the coast locally today which it was just too much for me it was just like i went down the beach and with my daughter and that um and they they went off and i, I stayed in the shade drinking some uh, beers i wouldn't normally drink so um it's okay not a problem on that one um i did didn't have that drink did i no i opened the bottle and didn't even bother So, we'll go back to Brenda. It, okay. What a stupid name, but kind of funny at the same time. It reminds me of a kind of a, a McKellar kind of name. It's just a bit wacky and out there. But yeah, I mean, it looks like a looks like a New England IPA. But yeah, there's a slight kind of, you know, you can. It's a bit lighter. It's not as, as thicker body, but but yeah. I 
I'd say this is a, uh, a this is just an absolutely perfect beer for these conditions. I could drink more than one of these. I say that. I'll probably drink one. I think nah. When I first started drinking, I was like, yeah, give me, give me, give me loads, you know. But no. Nah. It's seawater with a bit of added stone fruit, if you like. Yeah, that's it. In terms of rating for that, then I'll give that an, an 8 out of 10. I might have even given it a rating already, which is probably even different from what I just said. I'll give it an 8 out of 10, a 4 out of 5. Decent. Uh, but yeah, this just shades it. A different style of beer, of course. But but yeah, um, this one floats my boat. So yeah, it's... Um, it's pretty pretty damn cool um no other information really i mean i, I could get the um the online screens up but you, you know untapped and stuff but you know what where untapped is and stuff so that's it a couple of beers just like a little trying to see how all this kind of works um it's nice that you can, you can put these sort of things up and banners and it's more of a kind of a I've got a few shows coming up over the next few days, so it's nice to get sort of, you know, so this is an example you can put on the screen, um, bloody blah, so that was the first beer, that was the second beer, so on and so forth. Um, it's different, of course, when you, um, you've got other people in, in the chat, then you can... You can do a bit more, you know. There is more you can actually do, which uh, is it's def it's definitely a really cool thing. Um, then I can change, like the branding. See, it's the just to the left of eyes, oh, just that little green strip. So you can, I mean, I can change it to default, which comes back like that. Um, and let's change the color. Then we we'll go to a red because it's so hot. Things like that. Pretty damn cool. Um, we can put it back to minimal, so you still got the red edge, sort of. So, and that's it, really. You've got this um, on the top right-hand corner of the, of the screen. You've got that um, power by Streamyard thing. That's that's part of the free kind of service. If you pay for the upgrade, which I think it's, I can't remember now, twenty is it twenty dollars a month or whatever it is. You can have your own kind of logo on there, and you can have a you can have a back screen and all this. You can do lots of sort of stuff um, if you if you have the paid service. But this is great for what we do or what I do at least. So uh, we're no pro or nothing. So it's you know it's it's really cool. I just thought I'd come and give it a try. You can have an overlay and all sorts of things going on background, and you do the screen sharing. And you know, I think you can have five uh, five other people. Um, it goes into like three at top three at the bottom kind of thing um and then you can have another seven people that are pending to come in and you can swap people over say someone's going to do a review or whatever you can swap someone over which is a really cool idea um or if you're doing the 101 so that's another thing 101 over on um nick's channel what's his name of his channel i've gone blank maxwell star um check out maxwell star um do a, do a google search half past one uk time 8.30, was it 8.30 Eastern? I can't remember now. So many time zones and shit, I just, whatever. Just look out for, for the live show. We'll be reviewing Hoe Garden. Um, so that'll be after I've had these two beers. So mm, that'll be interesting. But yeah, got a bit of water to cleanse the old planet. Planet? I'm not drunk. I'm just nervous. Anyway, I'm going to clear off. Um, just to see... We've got three more comments. Let's have a quick look, see what they are. Um, blah, 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 blah. I hope you finish all the beer and not waste it. <laughs> nah, not at all. So that, that's from David. So no, nah, I won't be David. Cheers. Um, I like how you should showcase live chat. Well, yeah, it's just absolutely... It's miles and miles better than Google Hangouts. It's just miles better. Um, I think the sound quality of what I've watched, what I've seen is better. 
and the actual picture quality seems much better on on other people that haven't got so much of a, a really good kind of camera it just almost like lifts it up and sharpens it smooths it all out it just it seems to do stuff like that all the time um yeah so yeah 8 30 eastern um thanks ashley for that um yeah that's it um just want to come on do some random reviews of these these two beers and uh yeah let's uh bid you good night good morning or good afternoon wherever you're watching in the world because there's i know there's many anyway thanks for watching then and i'll see you half past 12 uk time um me and paul are just gonna come on here and have a chat and have a probably have a beer and we can i'll try and do a few more examples of what you can do with the free service of of uh, stream yard anyway anyway thanks for watching then and if you've got had these beers before you watch it after the show comment down below let me know what you think thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next review cheers Bye.